is uh, August 29th, 2014. I'm here with my friend Cameron. Cameron, what have you been up to for the past five months? Just traveling around the U.S., hitchhiking and going to rainbow gatherings and meeting amazing people, meeting some not-so-amazing people. Mostly yeah. more than amazing, though. It's, it's always been good times. Like, I've only had a couple bad times. Other than that, it's been absolutely amazing. And been learning a lot about life and the universe. You said something about you met some train kids? Yeah, tra Where? train kids. Uh, I met some in, I mean, I met some at the Rainbow Gathering in Utah, and there's a place called Hobo Alley where they all basically hung out this year. And they were good to me when I went there. I went and hung out with them mostly at nighttime, but they were really cool. And mostly, from what I hear, they don't like hippies, so I was a little worried about that. But they were really cool to me. Uh, they shared me, shared some alcohol with me, shared some food. Do you consider yourself a hippie? Yeah, I mean, I thought a, the hippies were from like the '60s. Yeah, well, I'm a modern hippie, I guess. But I'm all, like one thing I guess that people say I'm not a hippie because is because I will defend myself. I won't. Oh, hippies won't? Yeah, apparently, yeah, supposedly. But I don't believe any human in their right mind would let themselves... Any hippies in your family? Uh, sort of, yeah. My old, oldest brother, Derek, is kind of a hippie. Your parents at all? My mom, she was sort of, she was more of a metalhead. She toured with Metallica and Motley Crue and stuff, did lights for them, and she was pretty violent sometimes, you know, she got into fights and she did some not so hippie so things. So she was born before the 60s? Yeah. So it was like your grandpa might have been a hippie? No, my grandpa was not a, he was a very straight-laced yeah, Marine. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, he was in the Marines since he was like so, 18, I think. So, so um, what are some of these people like that you meet on the road? Uh, they're awesome, they're really, they're good people, but some of them, they're a little contradicting. They, they believe in some things, but then act in a different way. They, they talk a lot of game, but they don't put forth. Like I know some kids that they would, they would make fun of me because I can't sing and play at the same time, but then they'd be like, I can sing and play. And I'd be like, all right, here you go. Here's my guitar, sing and play. And then they, <laughs> they wouldn't do it. They'd be like, oh, I don't feel like playing right now. Or one kid I met said he could, he could play the piano and sing at the same time. And they're in Fort Collins, Colorado, there are pianos everywhere. They actually have like pianos that have been painted and stuff set up all over the city. And at multiple times, I would be like, "Hey, man, why don't you play the piano?" He play a couple notes, you know. They got them sit around up around the around the city. Yeah, yeah, oh. they're just like different parts of the city. They have these beautiful pianos because like Fort Collins is a very artsy place. Cool. And I would ask him to play, and he wouldn't play. He would he'd play a couple notes, and I'd be like, "Come on, man, play me a song and sing." You know, <laughs> if you, if you can play and sing at the same time, you kind of need to prove it. I see you're carrying your guitar with you on the road. Yeah, that's how I make money somewhat and oh, really? entertain myself. Just set up alongside the road. Yeah, sometimes I'll just sit on the guardrail on the side of the road and play if I get bored. Or on the sidewalk or something? Yeah, sidewalker. I mostly look, once I'm in a city, look for benches to sit down at that tons of people are walking by and play there. So, have you met some girls that have been on the road? I've met a, I've met a few girls that have been on the road. I mean, do they, that, do they travel by themselves or no? Some of them have. I've seen some in, uh, at Rainbow Nationals that were traveling alone, some that were traveling with their boyfriends or traveling with other girls. What are the ones like that travel by themselves? Uh, they're pretty nice. To, I mean, but a lot of the chicks that I've met that have been on the road, that have been on the road for a while, are pretty grungy, kind of a bitch in a way, but... It changes them? Yeah, I believe it really does change them. Does it them. change them as much as, or more than men, or what? I think it does, yeah. I think it really, I've, like, I've seen, like, 50-50 men change, and, like, all the girls that I've met that have been on the road for a while, just, I feel like they've either totally changed out of who they used to be, or they may have stayed the same, they may have always been like that in their entire life, and it just kind of fit on the road, but mostly I've seen it's all the women become just... Kind of bitches in a way, but wild. Yeah, they get really wild, and a lot of them that I've met have been like they've turned really skanky too. What do you mean by skanky? Just like 
they it see like some of them that I, I know for a fact would they spread their legs for any ride they get or anybody that's traveling with them they travel with somebody and instantly you know that night they're banging them then others that I just feel are like that mm. and I don't like judging people too much but I am a, I feel like I'm a pretty good judge of character which is why I think I'm still alive because I've been able to get rides without dying and meet people without dying. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start a new video because uh, I want to make sure this uploads fast. So I'm going to just uh, stop and start.